So last week uh, we had to wrap up so quickly because of the situation. So I was going to complete the chapter 17 and 18 last week, but I couldn't complete it. So I rescheduled that this week uh, I'll look at, I'll go through the chapter 17 and uh, next week I'll look up the, I'll go through the chapter 18. So we'll go through the chapter 17, the consequence of the living for self-satisfaction rather than the mission given. So last week we followed the storyline of the book of the Revelation through the chapter 17. Chapter 7 is about the identity of the hallowed and the beast and how they appear in history. Yeah. So chapter 17 is an important chapter that shows how it related to the times we live in today. So God prophesied about this being, saying that he would tell the secret of such a being through the John. The explanation for it appeared in verse 8 to 13. But in fact, the content was like a riddle. So last week we went through the corresponding historical interpretation one by one in order to understand the passage corresponding to this prophecy. It needs to have some kind of historically accurate evidence. When referring to verse 9, based on the time of John, there was a clear evidence. The seven-headed red beast introduced in chapter 17 was referring to powerful nation that appeared in history. So referring to verse 10, the kingdom in John's day was the Roman Empire. Looking at history, focusing on Roman Empire. Looking at the history, focusing on the Roman Empire, the great power that led the time of John. I trace the contents of the prophecy from the verse 9 to 12. So among the seven headed, seven heads, five already perished, are connected to the Daniel's prophecy, Babylon, Media, Media Persia, Greece, and the Roman Republic were known, and the one that is now refers to the Roman Empire. In the era, in which John was living. After that, another one which has not yet appeared, but can only stay for a short time after appearing. It would be the Western Roman Empire that was divided into East and West Rome in AD 395, then perished in AD 470, 476, about 80, 80 years later. The reason why we focus on the history related to Rome, when looking through the vision of the Daniel, chapter 2, verse 40 to 43, the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar saw in a dream. The gold head was Babylon, the silver chest and arms were Mede Persia, the bronze belly and thighs were Greece, and Rome was the fourth part expressed as iron that crushes all nations. And you can see that the rest of the feet and toes are a mixture of iron and soil. So even after Roman era, which was expressed in iron and passed, because iron and earth are mixed, this is because it can be seen as a country related to Rome. So the eighth beast after Rome appearing in verse 11, will be a certain power related to Rome, a nation that arises from the extension of Rome. So the eighth beast, about 300 years after the fall of the Western Roman Empire, it was interpreted as a Holy Roman Empire that appeared in history with power over the European region ruled by the Western Roman Empire. Verse 11 tells us that the eighth beast belongs to the previous seven, the eighth great power to appear. Rather than appearing out of the blue, regardless of what happened before, it is enough to guess that it is an existence of the connecting line. In any case, this ex existence will eventually perish. This represents a uh, history that marks a uh, 
very important a turning point in history. Then the red beast with the seven hands and ten horns on which the harlot is riding. The part about seven heads were interpreted. So what are the ten horns? It is referred in verse 12. Chapter 7 in verse 12, the ten horns you saw are ten kings. They have not yet taken the kingdom, but they will occupy the throne with the beast for a time. The history related to these ten horns was also found in the history connected with powerful nations. The reason for this is in Daniel chapter 2, the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar saw. Here ten horns, ten kings are the last feet of the statue. It refers to the part where iron and soil are mixed. When you see it mixed with the iron symbolizing Rome, it can be contrary to the Roman Empire. So the historical application to the ten horn kings, the eighth existence should be the look through the history of the Holy Roman Empire. The period in which the Holy Roman Empire appeared in the Middle Ages. The characteristics of the Middle Ages were the Christianity and feudal system. The characteristic of the feudal system is that the emperor or king does not have all the power like the power of the past. The power is distributed among the feudal lord. After the Western Roman Empire, the Frankish kingdom emerged as a powerful nation in Europe. After the powerful Charles the Great, kingdom was divided into the East, Middle and the West Franks. During the time, the Magyar tribe from the East and Muslim from the South and the Normans from the North invaded. At this time, as in the time of Charles the Great, the central powerful king's power cannot protect the country. A self-sustaining community is formed by gathering strength from the all over the provinces and the Lord. Who leads such an organization is entrusted with the control of the relevant area through a certain contract from the king. So in the case of the Lord, who rules such a land, is own military power and had a fairly independent space politically. In such a situation, the king and the Lord the feudal lord signed a bilateral contract with each other and became a master's relationship. In fact, in a space ruled by the lord, the feudal lord acted like a king. There was a lack of solidarity between the king and the lord. Also within the space ruled by the feudal lord, there were classes among the people. So just as Satan gives the power to the beast, when a king or emperor is forced to give territories that he cannot rule over to the lords, people who should be guaranteed human right and live an equal life with the holy life created by the God. People were still living a life like a slave in the space ruled by the feudal lord. So the history of the Holy Roman Empire in the Middle Ages, in order to survive in this political arena, the confrontation between king and the feudal princes. Externally, it is full of the confrontation with the king of another country or the pope. That is why the power of the beast and the harlot who rode on the people of the whole nation, killing each other with greed for their vested interest continued. So the meaning of the ten horns, ten kings, explained after eighth beast. At first the relationship with the beast and the king was good. Later, later they gradually quarrel with each other and uh, disperse. And then it tells of a historical situation in which the priesthood center society shifts to the human rights center society. So if you look at this historical flow, this man, 
medieval feudal society, feudal, feudal society from the late Middle Ages to the modern era, the society was transformed into an absolute monarchy-centered society. The politics and religion collided under strict classism and the trampled the people. Along with capitalism, through the modern industrial revolution, the civil revolutions occur. I think this is a very important historical event. From the time of the Tower of Babel incident, people created a false idol to divide the people's classes. People are always trampled in the class custom that Satan has deceived. Now people are starting to realize God-given right called human right. I believe that God wakes up the human race with so full of greed and has been deceived by the Satan's lie. I think it was a providence of, that God established as the people he created. But history just as a Christianity, which was persecuted, then become the religion of the Rome. But it is misdirected as a universal religion that embraces all religions of the world. At a time like this, when humans were able to restore the human right that God gave them, now it has become the world where the capitals divide classes among the people. In the end, even after the king and those in power have left, these words is still filled with greed. Take advantage of the opportunity God has given them to serve. It has become a society that squeezed the blood of people in various ways. With the Industrial Revolution, society was divided into classes due to capital. Although they are of the same status, they are divided into those who have wealth and those who don't, do not. The ruthless rule of those who had it continued. However, after realizing the importance of the human rights, socialist movement arose. This also went to the extreme of communism and created another class. This too has become a country like a killing machine that kills countless people and the human lives that God created are being trampled in history. However, human beings who have come to know to realize the importance of human rights are no longer conforming to the status system that has been passed down for a long time in the state of ignorance of the past and are struggling to find their own right. It has flowed into the modern democratic society we live in today. Seeing it that way, the ten horn of verse 12, the meaning of kings, are revealed throughout the ages. If people have opportunity to serve many people, you can see greedy people use the power to trample on people. That's why the beast that came up from the sea is not just the power and authority of the great great powerful countries, it can become a capitalist with a lot of money. As the, the world of metaverse is emerging like these days, each of them is gathering a lot of fo followers and doing various things. It is impossible to predict what other forms of the greed will appear as a beast in the future society that will develop like this. That is why beast forces has also appeared in many different forms over time. We have to understand the core message, key message that tells what kind of existence this beast forces. In addition, the hallowed, a religious force, is also changing in various ways still seducing and confusing the people in our society. It must be remembered well, the power of religion is trying to dominate people. However, 
The reason to relate the Roman Catholicism to the events of the Apocalypse here, you can think about the religions that are not related to God as idols. Roman Catholic was the one that was entrusted with the word of God following the early church, but completely transformed into the universal religion they wanted. This is because they have deceived the countless soul with Bible, history, and the name of Jesus. That is why God through the John refers to such a being as a harlot and a false prophet. So no matter what kind of political system in each era, it's not a society where God exists as king. And people live in love with God's word, as the standard, but a group of people with vested interest who are greedy ruling above the huge crowd, the people of God are suffering in such a society in various forms of trampling and exploiting. After John until the day of the second coming of Jesus, it shows what society looks like. In the Middle Ages, the power of Harlot, the Pope, who rode the power of the beast, Impera, from the crusade to the loss of the power of the Pope. It unfolded the power of the kings live in harmony with the Harlot. Chapter 4, 17, verse 14. They will fight with the Lamb. For the Lamb is the Lord of the Lords and the King of Kings. You will defeat them and those with him. Even the fa- faithful who are called and chosen will overcome. Here they, they mean it refers to the nation of the ten horns that are ro- the loyal to the beast, colluded with the harlot. Fighting with the Lamb is believers who do not follow the decision of the Catholic Church. In the Middle Ages, it can be applied to the case of countless death in the religious court. Looking at this historically, before the fall of the Western Rome and the establishment of the Holy Roman Empire, Islam was founded by Muhammad in AD 622. As its power rapidly expanded among the many countries that suffered under the Catholic ruling. The countries that were trampled on by the Eastern Romans or the Western Roman welcomed the Islam, promoted all people under heavens are equal, like a liberator. Islam is a, another religion from the Judaism and Christianity. They put their roots in Abraham. But Abraham's real eldest son, they think, is not Isaac, but Ismael, their ancestor. It begins in Mecca and Medina, in the Arabian Peninsula, 622, Unify the Arabian Peninsula, Egypt, and North Africa to the west. East to the Sassanid Persia. Furthermore, during the Umayyad dynasty, it expanded its power by occupying even Spanish region. Then in the 10th century, when the Seljuk Turks, now Turkey, adopted Islam. Until then, the Islam world centered on Arabs in the Arabian Peninsula and Iranians in Persia. From this time on, it was transferred under the supremacy of the Seljuk Turkey. Seljuk Turk in 1071. 50,000 Seljuk Turks defeated the Byzantine army of the 200,000. 
Battle of the Manskirt took a power in Western Asia. Then in uh, 1077, they persecuted pilgrims visiting Jerusalem, the most important holy city of the Christianity. Uh, the reaction to this was the Crusaders, which lasted uh, almost 200 years from the end of the 11th century to the end of the 13th century. Although the Eastern Roman Church requested, the crusade began under the leadership of the Holy Roman Empire, Pope. However, the intention of the participant in the war was not to restore the true faith. Since their authority to unite and rule all religion was threatened by Islam, the Western Roman power had a plan to regain it and the rule even the churches of the Eastern Roman Empire. The churches of the Eastern Roman Empire were trying to regain the supporters were being taken away by Islam. In addition, people of all classes including feudal lord participating in the war wanted to increase their fiefs fiefs and the secure uh, advantage advantage position to earn money according to each individual's expectation and desire they all had a different purposes the crusade lasted nearly 200 years around 81241 it was stopped by the intervention of the genghis khan of the mongol empire who appeared from the east Eastern Rome, which was uh, losing its power in various ways, was eventually destroyed by the Islamic states of the Ottoman Turks in AD 1453. Even if the failure of a crusade resulted in the loss of the power of the Roman papacy, until 300 years later in AD 1517, the momentum was again, once again broken by the Reformation. Roman Catholic rise on beast power and enjoy power. They create a numerous false doctrine for their governance, putting the people in the bondage of religion, stealing money. It, if they didn't act according to their thought, they did the things that drove millions of people to death through the religious court. From the early church to the reformation, when the church became the religion of the Roman Empire in AD 313, there was only the Roman Catholic Church. AD 1054, it was divided into Eastern and Western Roman churches. Furthermore, starting with reformation that took place in AD 1517, due to the corrupted faith of the Catholic Church. The Treaty of the Westphalia in 1648, now the True Church, Protestantism, that has inherited the faith of the early Church has come to the fore. So, through the great history, the Word of God becomes the center, the Word leads. The church that God is looking for has begun again. This is after 400 years of silence between the Old and New Testament, just like the first coming of the Jesus. I think it was a huge thing. The world is imprisoned by the Catholic, the Word. They interpret the degenerate the God's Word. It was fully restored delivered to all people. It was truly groundbreaking event. It was an event that showed a clear will of God. Even after such a reformation took place, Roman Catholicism, the leader of the Middle Ages, Pope was imprisoned by the Napoleon of the French Empire in AD 1798. In 1806, Francis II, dismantle the Holy Roman Empire and continue as the Austrian Empire 
until the end of the World War I. Conclusion with the politician of the time, how many saints who wanted to keep the right faith may have been persecuted in the numerous ways in association with the political authority. Even after losing so much power, Catholicism still exists and has an influence throughout the world. Still, it is moving along with the goal of the first Constantine to create a universal religion that could unite the whole world under the Roman Empire. But remember, this is not only existence of the whole. The halot in the Bible, as we study history, is called a halot. It is important to know the principle by examining the behavior of such a prostitute. What the whole did, despite the clear truth of what God is telling us through the Bible, it was an attitude that distorted the truth of the Bible, created their own tradition in order to pursue what they wanted. The reason why Jesus rebuked the Jewish Pharisees and the priests and the scribes at the time was, it was with the inheritance of the elders distorting God's will and the creating religious tradition. It was to immobilize people in the chain of the legalism. If you look at that way, not only the Roman Catholic but also the Muslim using the Bible and the history of God to distort God's will. Orchid including Shinchanji who are fu fulfilling their greed. You can tell that she is a whole. The, the being designated as a hallowed in the book of the Revelation, not like other religion who worship idols that have nothing to do with the Bible, but the clearly entrusted word, word of, word from the God, word from the God, with God's works, with God's promise, Falsely using word to be worshipped above the people God has created. Because they, are, or they all follow their instincts and greed in the end, the beast forces the ten horn and the hallowed who wanted to live according to their own lust, according to their instincts. Even when they cooperate with each other, they do not have good intentions. They all cooperate according to their own desires. That is why when they do no longer need each other, they throw away and trample on each other and kill each other. Chapter 17 verse 16 What you sow, these ten horns and the beast will hate and the, hate the hallowed, and will destroy and make her naked and will eat her flesh and burn her with fire. As we look through the history last week, the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire trying to rule the country through the religious power of the Roman Catholic. Meanwhile, the Pope is trying to rule over such an emperor. We saw them fighting each other. Historically, the, in the Middle Ages, the Pope had authority over all kings. As Canossa's humiliation case, in AD 1077 shows because the emperor had to knee down before the Pope and pray for the restoration of the of, of his kingship. At the time, you could you can gauge the extent of the Pope's authority. But this humiliation, the pot political forces of the emperor and the kings suffered. Naturally, they will see an opportunity to sharpen their teeth and turn the situation up, upside down. Nearly 500 years have passed since such a hallowed reigned over the power of the beast. As Catholic, tyranny reveals the truth of the Bible they were trying to hide. Finally, the Reformation took place in AD 1517. The Reformation was a clear opposition to the papacy, which was above all royal power. In other words, it can be said 
that it was to bring down the religious forces that were more powerful than the beast forces. So the king of the medieval society, who had been complaining about the tyranny of the Catholic religious forces, because the reformation is happening, by actively helping the reformer in various ways, as verse 16 says, ultimately, the power of the papacy was overthrown. When the Bible was open to all people through the re Reformation, how many false things the Catholic thought taught, even without explaining to people why they were wrong, just reading the correctly translated Bible would reveal the false teaching of the Catholic. Even now, the false doctrines are mixed with the true words. They say that they believe in Jesus. Still, they wanted to exercise the influence of the whole on many people from all over the world. Many religions unite and draw under them. That is why these days, even today, efforts to unify all religion are taking the lead. As Christianity became the religion of the Roman Empire during the reign of the Emperor Constantine. As the original purpose of trying to unify all religions with numerous idols in a pantheon, pursuing the unity of all religions with the same purpose in the present age. He is trying to become the Emperor who rules all religions. Misconceptions about Mother Mary, which started from the early days of the Catholic Church, are growing. Now Mother Mary has become the Mother of God. Furthermore, it is now believed that Mary has ascended as a God who has risen to, death, has risen to heaven. Catholic is creating false doctrine that are not spoken in the Bible. Insisting on believing tradition of the church is wrong. It is the figure of the harlot. The false prophet spoken of in the book of the Revelation. That is why starting with those who lead the reformation, they continue to reveal very strongly that this pope was a harlot. But I'll say it again, it's not just that these Catholics are called harlot. Although the truth to God, that God is telling us through the Bible is clear to claim what they want, these actions that distort the truth of the Bible and create the attach their own tradition or aspect of the heresy, that is that they are doing the same thing as the harlot mentioned in the book of the Revelation. Fourth prophet, the core of the harlot, in collusions with safe author state, state authority to exercise religious power using military or political power. It ex existed like a pope who reigned with greater authority than the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire in the Middle Ages. Interpreting and using God's word as they wish to accomplish their will. He kills those who oppose him by driving them into the witch hunt, drunk with the power of the politic. The soul God has given to serve, the people to serve. They treat like their own slaves. Revelation chapter 17 prophesied and revealed the hallowed in John's time, emerging in each church as a false teacher. After that, in history, it became the center of the religion of the great Roman, great Rome, the Babylon. It is to give the discerning eyes to the saints of all ages who will live in the age of the end time. God prophesied and made known the deception of the Satan that will take a place in the future through the John around the AD 90 to 100. The saints in the coming are right. It is to make the false prophet and the power of the beast to know exactly what kind of existence they are. So the saints of the coming time to clearly discern Satan's deceitful deceptions. 
and the temptation to make us drunk with false wine. It is to live a life as a holy people called by God. What an amazing we must know, what we must know, fact it is. But if we are not interested in the Bible that contains this amazing fact just because it's hard, what God wants the people to know by speaking clearly, if you close the Bible this way of life, what will happen? If you look at history even after this reformation, the power of a religious force did not sink easily. As it gradually fell to the floor, the blood of countless saints was shed. In the end, it existed only as a force separate from the political force, and they even make their own country called Vatican City. It seems that the power of the Pope does not exist as it in the past, as they continue to extend their influence to many countries around the world. When the Pope dies, the leaders from the all of the country go to bow their heads in condolences. So verse 16, by making it clear what kind of existence this prostitute mentions in chapter 17, is, a, is and um, how she pursue her work. Obviously, at the end of the day, whoever it was, as we have confirmed through the history of past time, the hallowed uses beast to seek authority over the large number of people. In the end, it will be completed, completely destroyed by the power of the beast and the power of the ten horns that suck the blood of countless souls together. Chapter 17, verse 17. For God gave them a self-willed heart to accomplish one's will and to give their kingdom to the beast until the word of God was fulfilled. Animal and hallowed who want to live their lives according to their own desires, live according to their own instincts and the lust. Eventually, as God said through James's, greed conceives and gives birth to sin, and the sin matures and leads to death. James chapter 1 verse 15. It is saying that it will be fulfilled just as it was uh, warned. It's not that God planned these things and uh, make the kind of history as planned. He has already heard the word spoken through the prophet to keep us from the going down the path of death and the judgment. Because humans who are greedy violate themselves and, uh, and leave. In the end, such a greed becomes a sin. The sin has matured, things happen that kills each other. This word. At some point in the history that we look at last week, these beast forces and the forces of the hollow do not end up disappearing after being judged. Until the second coming of the Lord Christ, still in this way as Satan's agent. It tells us that there will be the hallowed religious forces, which is religious forces, and beast, which is political forces, and the ten horn forces. Until the end of the end, until the day of God's judgment, as they continue to exist with their own greed. It means that whenever the opportunity arises, he will climb to the head of all nations and try to rule everything. So through these words, we can discern who such beings are and how they work. We have to go forward as a people of the Lord who are awake in our age with a mission. 18, verse 18, And the woman whose soul is a great city that rules over the king of the, the earth. Through the history we have looked at so far, only, they can, only then can we know the identity of the woman. The great castle that rules over the king of the, the earth. It clearly states that the religious forces that conspire with the power of the beast and ride it to the exercise of authority. But again, the existence of this woman is not just to say that it is just a, some organization. We must not forget the beginnings who have been commissioned to the convey God's heart are those who forsake the mission for their own greed and the misuse God's word to steal God's glory. 
If you see it that way, today's church pastors and leaders who have lost their mission are no different. Even the saints who are building a church of such a false greed together, don't forget that you can become a whole like no other. This is chapter 17, if you follow the storyline of the book of Revelation and organize it. Chapter 16 shows the situation in which the bowls of God's seven wrath are poured out on those who remain on this earth without being raptured. In chapter 17, what kind of existence is the power of the beast and the harlot who received the spirit of Satan? He was telling me so that we could clearly see what those forces would do. Please do not forget the main purpose of each chapter and meditate on it calmly. Next week we will continue to share chapter 18.